Hey, what's up, guys? Um, thanks for coming to the channel. Uh, today, I'm going to just cover something I actually just learned this week um, with fonts. So, uh, a lot of times with fonts and easel, for instance, uh, this word text here, when I, I'm telling it that I wanted to type a word, you can see that the actual box around the wording is larger, right? So, you know, if I wanted my letter to be, you know, two inches tall and an inch wide, um, I almost have to zoom in here to really, like, get that down. But, I want to show you a way that you can use an app called Explode that's located within Easel. And I'll show you what it does. So, check it out. Alright, so let's follow along here. You got Easel open. Uh, doesn't matter what size work area right now for the purpose of the video. But I have this set at 10 inches wide, 5 inches tall. Um, I got I'm gonna do my text box here. So I'm going to use uh, one of the pro fonts called uh, Anton. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to type the word explode. Alright, so. I'm going to center that to my material, like so. Alright, so we're going to highlight that. You're going to click your little apps, or I like to call it the Lego piece. Click on that, and save yourself the time of looking around for it. See down here it says Shape Exploder. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to type in explode. And you're going to use this exploder utility. So we're going to click on that. And you should get this that pops up. Right. So gap at zero means it's going to be exactly the same as what we had in there. But if you wanted to ex explode the letters apart, play around with that. You want them to be like that. Not quite sure why we would, but most likely you're going to leave it at zero. And all you do is just hit import. And another one's going to pop up. Alright, so now I'm going to delete this one. Notice what just happened. So if I click on the original, I click on it, it does the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to delete that. I'll highlight this bad boy. Put it in the center. Now, if you notice, my square is actually around the lettering itself. But if I wanted to make this X larger, they're all individual now. I know in the, the font section, uh, it can be a little challenging sometimes. I found myself spending way too much time on fonts. You know, like if someone wanted the word to be curved or something like that. Um, it just makes it a little bit harder. But now you've got individuals, you know, so if the person wanted it to be something like this, then it could be, right? So I could do, uh, alright, I want my letter to be two inches wide, an inch tall, bada bing. Two by one. See what I'm doing there? I'm going to delete that. Um, or, let's say we wanted to do... Uh, exploded there again. Same font. Make it a little larger this time. And if you click down here on text effect, you can make it do all kinds of different things, right? So you want it to be like that, you can. You want to give it kind of a curved look, you can. And then we would go back to that Explode app and just import it. And then we'll center this to the material. 
another individual. Alright, so we can make this X a little bit bigger. And this E a little bit bigger. Might give it a look as if it's curved a little bit more. But this is a huge time saver. Huge. Like, so huge it's exploding. That's my joke of the night. Um, yeah, I wanted to share this to show you guys, uh, you know, just a simple way with the fonts. And, um, you know, I got to give props to a guy that uh, I was chatting with through YouTube. Um, and he was sharing some tips and tricks on certain things that he does. And, um, you know, I asked him, I'm like, how'd you do that with your font? And uh, he showed me this real quick. And I was like, wow. I have to share this on my channel because, you know, I've been spending 15, 20 minutes on this, and uh, this is way, way easier. So, apps called Explode. Check it out. Super simple. Hopefully, it helps you. And uh, yeah, please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.